Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app We Video, which is a really cool video editing app for Android. All right before I get to that, just want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com, which is the best place on the internet to get really cool Android themed NFC stickers and keychains for use with your Android phone. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review and check out the cool stuff they have. Anyway, getting right to it, we video. Video editing on Android up to this point has not been that great. Um, there is Magisto, which I've reviewed, which allows you to upload uh, different videos and clips and then they kind of magically and automatically arrange them for you. Sometimes works good, sometimes doesn't, but not a bad thing. But what if you want to be in control? You want to edit your own video the way you want it to be? Well, that's where we video comes in. So uh, let's hop on my phone. I'm going to show you how it works and uh, show you some of the, the cool things it has now and also talk to you about some features that are missing, but hopefully will be there in the future um, and really make this probably the best just standard video editing app for Android. Okay, so here we have We Video right here. So I'm going to tap that and open it up. And you get the welcome screen. And you see videos you've previously created. And you see a button to create a new video. You also see the menu button. So we'll hit that just so you can see what's there. You can uh, go to Home, you can go to My Projects, you can go to Media Uploader, your account info and feedback. Um, if you go to home, that's your home screen, basically shows videos you've created before and allows you to create a new video. So let's create a new video so I can show you how it works. First thing it asks is for a title. So we're going to title this, uh, let's see, I want to title it video because I don't feel like being creative right now. I just want to show you guys what uh, you can do. So once you do that, you have videos here. If you scoot over, you have images. If you scoot over, you have audio, um, which is cool. It uh, gives you various various choices. Uh, what we're going to do is, you see it has a title screen right here. If you click the edit button, you can edit your title. You can see your title right there, and you can change that. You can enter uh, a different title if you want and we click cancel or done I'm done so basically it tells you right here drag videos and photos here so you can drag whatever video you want to drag so this is a video of my dog so I'm gonna drag it there now what's cool about it once you drag it there if you click the little edit button it will uh, open it up for you And there you go. You can see you can change the clip for your enter and your exit. So you can trim this individual clip. So I can drag over and as you're dragging it moves. You can actually see where, where it's at and then drag this to where you want it to be. And then if you click the volume button, you can adjust the volume. What do you want the volume of this clip to be? How loud do you want it to be? I'm going to set it at 100%. And if you want to add a caption, you can click Caption. Now Caption, I'll tell you right here, is only available when a theme is selected. And I haven't selected a theme yet. I'll show you that in a minute. Hopefully this is something that in the future will change so that you can do a caption whether you have a theme or not. And just have it down at the bottom. That's one of the features that uh, hopefully they will add. So uh, you click Done. And... It's going to trim and update the, cl the clip. So now it's trimmed and updated that clip. So I can go through and add another one. Here's one of my dog. Uh, if you tap on it, then you can see it. So let's go back. So if you tap on it, you can actually watch the video. If you hold it and drag, then it adds it to the timeline, which is great. 
you can go in and edit that. Um, then you can go over here to images. Here's an image of my dog. So I'm going to hold that. I'm going to put that between those two video clips. So you can just, it's so easy. You just hold and if you want to move it, you just hold and then you can move it over or you could drag it up to the trash can to delete it. So it's really easy to add uh, different clips. Um, let's see. Here's another, another one of my dog. So let's put that one at the end. That'll be the last one. Uh, and then you go over to audio and anything that's on your phone uh, it will you can use any music that's on your phone. Now here's one of the things I hope they will change is that uh, right now it has all the audio on my phone so all these are just little clips that I use for ringtones mostly. What I would like is to be able to specify a folder that I want it to look at for potential music. Um, right now that's not an option but uh, hopefully in the future uh, it will be because uh, I have a ton of like little clips for ringtones and even if you have even if it's going to your music folder if you have you know 20 CDs on your phone to have to go through them this way is not the best way so I'd like it if you could browse your phone and browse to a particular folder and pick the uh, pick it that way so uh, let's just pick um, Let's pick a random, random, here we go, we'll pick August Rhapsody from August Rush. So you pick that, now if you click the play button it will play a sample so that you can hear it. When you pick that you've assigned that music uh, to, to be the background music. Uh, so now, uh, once you've done that you can go back and add more videos or add more images, whatever you want to do. Uh, when you're done, you can go to style. Now right now I have no theme. And so it's just going to be straight up video. It's going to have my title and then my clips. But they do have some really cool themes you can choose as well. Uh, and it applies, uh, you're used to this if you've done any type of picture editing on your phone. It applies a certain filter over the video to give it a certain look. Um, and some stuff, some of the stuff is really cool that it can do. So let's let's give it a uh, just for the fun of it we'll give it a vintage feel. So let's check that. So now we've applied that. Now when that's done you click publish. And uh, you go up here, give you a chance to rename your video. You can choose where you want to publish it to. You can publish it to YouTube directly if you want to. You can also share it on uh, uh, Facebook if you've added your information. You can make it private if you don't want the whole public to be able to see it. And you can save a, a local copy as well. And I'm going to click publish. And then it's going to tell you, it's going to give you this little information so that you can kind of make sure everything that you want is as you want it. And then I'm going to press continue and then it's going to go. Now because this is a lot of video and it's uploading all this video and the audio and the pictures to their servers to make the finished product and then when it's done uh, it'll be ready for you. It takes some time so we're going to cut over to uh, uh, the finished product later on. But right now I want to go back to uh, the menu so I can show you other things, my projects, and this is where you see all the videos, uh, and then different pro all the videos from different projects you've done. And you can go back to the menu, and you can click Media, Media Uploader, and that's where you can just upload something if you want to upload it to your account. And then Account Info. If you just want to see what your account info is, you can see uh, how much memory you have. It comes with a uh, limited amount of memory to begin with. I believe it's 5 gigs, I want to say. And also a certain number of minutes that you can use per month. That's for free. And then you can upgrade your account uh, if you need more. You can also access all of this online. Once you have an account, you can access your account online. Uh, which is also cool. And then you can uh, give feedback or report a problem. 
and that's pretty much it. Uh, a few things that I'd like to see added uh, to this is uh, transitions. There's no transitions really. Uh, I'd like to be able to transition from one video to another or one picture to another. Uh, just a basic transition. Obviously not going to have a lot of different types of transitions, but just a basic one clip fades out, the other clip fades up would be cool, and then maybe a fade out to black at the end if they allowed you to do that. Um, also right now with in regards to music, you'll see with this video, you can control the volume of the video as you saw, but you can't control the volume of the music. So the music is kind of a set volume, even if your uh, video volume is loud, if the music's too loud, it gets in the way of uh, uh, some of the dialogue, if you have dialogue. So you can choose no music, uh, but if you want to have music, we just have it in the background. You know, I'd like to see independent control to be able to control the volume of the background music, uh, just like you can control the volume of each clip. That would be a great addition. Um, and the, these are things that uh, I think they are going to work on adding. Uh, again, it, you know, it's it's on your phone, so they are limited because of the resources of your phone. But hopefully they can add just a few more little things that will just make it uh, that much more professional and uh, make it really cool. Anyway, uh, let's check out the finished product. So one thing I also wanted to show you is uh, if you tap on a picture that you've added to your timeline, you can change the duration. So right now this is picture set to be 5 seconds long and you can change that, increase it, and make it however long or however short you want it to be. It has to be at least five seconds if you're going to have a caption, but uh, otherwise it can be as short or as long as you want it. Um, so that's a really cool feature uh, with pictures that you add to the video. Uh, another feature that I hope they'll add in the future is just like I can press a clip and then choose my in and out points, It'd be great if you could press the song and also choose your in and out points. Because you may want to use a particular song, but maybe your video is like a minute and a half, so you want to use a specific part of the song. You don't want to start at the beginning of the song. So that's hopefully another uh, small enhancement that they'll add in the future, the ability to press a song and then pick your in and out points on the song, which would be really cool. Okay, so one thing I also wanted to show you is that uh, you see there's a play button right here, and if you click that, then uh, that will let you preview your video uh, before you upload it and do everything to it. So this is the, the preview video. This is with a the theme. You can see you can hear the music maybe a little bit in the background so it's a full preview with the effects of the video which is pretty cool so you can see exactly what you're doing and then click your back button you can go back and edit, edit it and uh, change it out uh, before you're you're ready to publish the final the final product. Okay, so uh, video is finished uploading. Uh, it was created and turned into a single video and then downloaded to my phone so that we can view it. Now the music I chose for this probably wasn't the best music because I just picked some random piece of a soundtrack and it actually starts off really kind of low, so you can't hear it that well. Um, I know what I'm listening for so I can hear it, but you may or may not be able to hear it. It's very, very low back there. Um, but anyway, you can see the effect that was applied to the video. You can see the transitions are pretty good even though they don't have that crossover fade. Uh, the transitions don't seem jolting, uh, especially with the effect that's been applied on it. So that's pretty cool. And of course, uh, you know, because you are controlling the sound of the video, you can completely lower the sound of the video and just have the music uh, playing and uh, not have any dialogue. If there's no dialogue in the video, you could do that. Uh, obviously, if you have dialogue in the video, you wouldn't want to. 
But um, it does a great job. I mean, it produces a great, great video in the end, and uh, that's pretty much it. So that was a Wii video app for Android. And uh, as you can see, it really puts the control in your hands. And uh, hopefully they're going to be adding a little bit more control. Um, obviously, you don't expect to get the same type of video editing on a phone. It's what you have on your computer. Um, but just a few more features they could add would really make it um, an awesome, awesome Android video editor. But it's already good as it is and better than most of the other apps out there because it does allow you to really take control and edit it the way you want, which is really cool. Um, anyway, if you like this review, please click the like button. Remember, that's not a button for whether or not you like me It's a, or the app. It's a button about whether or not you like the review. And uh, click the share button if uh, you know anyone who maybe would be interested in this app. And uh, share Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, whatever floats your boat. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with other reviews that I do. I have a playlist uh, over 150 reviews of Android apps, and I will continually add more so it's a good way to keep up. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.